Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pillin' Barbecue. Today we're gonna fire up the silverback pellet smoker and do some salmon, so stay tuned. All right, first off, uh, every Wednesday night at eight o'clock, I do a live stream. And uh, if you haven't seen it or had, haven't participated in it, you need to do so. Uh, we have a lot of good conversations on there. We talk about everything from barbecue or rubs or meat or whatever the case may be to something that might not even relate to barbecue. Uh, but we have a good time, so check that out Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Um, and this cook kind of came from this past Wednesday night. Uh, Rick Short, he, uh, he kind of reminded me that I had not done a silverback cook in about seven months, which I was, it was hard to believe, but looking back on it, I guess he's right. So we're going to fire up the silverback today and do some salmon. Now we also had a conversation about salmon. Uh, a lot of people say it's salmon, but that's from up north somewhere. But where I come from, salmon has an L in it. And so that's what we're going to cook today. We're going to cook some fish. So let's go ahead and get that seasoned up. All right, first thing we need a binder for our salmon. And uh, my brother uh, for Christmas and New Year's, he came over and got me some bourbon barrel aged Worcestershire sauce. So that's what I'm gonna put on the uh, filet just as a kind of a binder. So we're gonna put a little bit of that on there. Should add some good flavors to it. I'm gonna spread that around a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to hit it with some pink Himalayan salt and some fresh cracked black pepper. And then I also made some compound butter with some Kerrygold grass fed butter. And I've got, I made a video and I've already posted that. And I'll put a link to it up here, and you can go to that if you would like to uh, know how to make this compound butter. It's very easy. Um, and I've got some of that already in this bowl. So I'm going to uh, just hit that with a little lemon juice to thin it out a bit. Try to catch the seeds. And then... I'm going to stir that around and put a little coating of this butter thinned out with some lemon juice over the salmon and then we're going to get it on the smoker. Now when I go out there and fire up the silverback it may be a little finicky because when I don't show it some love it kind of gets mad at me so we'll see how this goes. Let's get it fired up. Stay tuned. I know I haven't been showing the silverback a, a lot of love lately, and he gets a little mad, but we're gonna fire him up and, and see how this thing goes. And now it won't start. I know just the thing. Bingo. All right, we've got the grill set on 300 degrees. I'm figuring it's probably gonna take about 20 to 30 minutes, but I'll let you know when the cook is over with. I've also got some chicken breasts on here for my sister-in-law, and uh, we've got some uh, asparagus and mushrooms wrapped in bacon also on here. So uh, let's get this thing on. Alright, so we've got the salmon off. 
Uh, we cook it at 300 degrees for approximately 30 minutes um, until an internal temperature of 145, 150. I had a little bit of carryover uh, cooked after I took it off. Uh, we've also got some bacon wrapped asparagus with portobello mushrooms inside there. Those will be good as well. And I've got the compound butter that I made. Again, I put a link uh, in the description box and up in the video earlier on how to make that. So now let's give it a taste test and uh, see how we did. Remember we put the uh, a little bit of the bourbon barrel Worcestershire, a little salt, pepper, and the compound butter on there that will stand out with a little bit of lemon juice. It's buttery, it's flaky. Turned out perfect. A great cook on the silverback now that we got it going. Give this a try. Until next time, I'll be fiddling. Hey guys, welcome back to Just Fiddling Barbecue. Today we're gonna film, 